you with a look at today's championship games. Hey, thanks, Nora. Uh, good evening and welcome to a state championship edition of WMTW Sports High School Championships in Soccer and Field Hockey. A memorable day for the midseason like weather and some incredible individual team and individual and team performances. Class A Boys Championship Brunswick and Scarborough. The Red Storm come out and take the lead. Cooper Johnson's cross to Jack Moreau's head, but one save is made. Then Moreau is there to bury the rebound and Scarborough. The number one seed from the south goes up one to nothing. Stay that way until 12 minutes left in the second. Scarborough defends the cross, but Ian Clendenning chests it to Jack Banks. Who else but Banks delivers his seventh goal of the season in the postseason, and it's a 1-1 game. Furious final 10 minutes. Scarborough's Kilson Jow breaks in, but Brady LaForge, the goalie, comes out to break it up. A physical final 10 minutes. And then Banks, the corner, pinballs it out to Luke Patterson, who hammers it home for the golden goal with 37 seconds left. And Brunswick takes the state championship a year after losing in the state final. 2-1 to one over Scarborough, the Dragons' first title since 1999. We, uh, we, we never gave up. Like oh, that's, that's our motto is we, we, we could play teams that have great technical ability, but we're always never, we're never going to give up. Same schools in the girls' championship. Scoreless deep in the second half. Laura Juranovic, the free kick for Scarborough. Sophia Morin, skies to tip it to herself. We stay scoreless. We go to overtime. Brunswick's Alexis Morin charging the laser. Redstorm keeper Sophia Rinaldi tips it over the bar to stay scoreless. Double overtime. Allie Mokriski on the corner and check out Juranovic skying to head home. The golden goal, an amazing finish. Scarborough wins the state championship in Class A, one to nothing. Red Storm complete the perfect season, their fifth state title under the first state, fifth state title that is third under Mike Farley. Class B boys Yarmouth and John Babs just five minutes into the game. Truman Peters heads home the cross and. Clippers up 1-0. Still 1-0 in the second half. Crusaders corner and John Pangburn is there on the far post to bang it in. We're tied at 1. Clippers with an answer though off the set piece. Peters the perfect feed to a streaking Stevie Walsh and Yarmouth has a 2-1 lead 20 to play. Yarmouth gets another opportunity on the corner kick. It's cleared out to who else but Peters who pops in his second of the game. He was involved in all the scoring. Yarmouth up 3-1. Babs would get a late goal but Yarmouth holds off the Crusaders 3-2 to win their third straight title, seventh in eighth years, and twelfth for Mike Haggerty. Yarmouth girls going for a state sweep. Yarmouth taking on Herman in the B South Girls Championship, a B state championship. Two minutes in, Lindsay Reed goes the cross to Natalie Tardy, and the Hawks up just like that. Clippers were down two to nothing before they mattered a comeback thanks to Ava Feely from 25 yards out. That's what she does. Think that's range? How about from 40 yards out? A firecracker ties it up at two. It goes to overtime. Macy Gilroy on the corner, and it lands perfectly on the foot of Feely, who scored eight of Yarmouth's nine playoff goals. The Clippers in overtime, 3-2 to two over Herman, their fifth state title, the first for head coach Andy Higgins with Yarmouth. Class B boys title up for grabs between Wayne Fleet and Fort Kent. Big day for Miles Cully. He scores to put Wayne Fleet up 3-1 in the second half. And then Andrew Rogers hits Cully for another. He finished with five goals. A monster postseason, a state tying record, 52 goals on the year, 6-1 to one, Wayne Fleet wins it, their fourth title in a row. Class C girls state championship defending champ Bucksport and defending state champ Miranda Cook taking on Bucksport. First half, Natasha Monreal puts Bucksport up 1-0. Later in the half, Alex Frizzell in front makes it 2-0 Golden Bucks at the break. Miranda Cook trying to rally late. Sophia Tweedy with 90 seconds left scores, but Bucksport would hold on for the 2-1 win to take the state championship. Boys D championship, Madawaska traveling down to Deering to take on NYA Panthers in the state game for the fourth straight year. Four minutes in, the Owls in transition. Carson Sear, the beautiful centering pass to Brady Gagnon, puts it away. Madawaska's up 1-0 just like that. A few minutes later, NYA equals it. Gray Parham with the rocket. There's a collision on the rebound, and Jack Byrne pounds it home. 1-1 one, one game. NYA's Cooper St. Hilaire scores 20 seconds into the second half, and NYA wins it 2-1, their 10th state championship for the Panthers. They are rolling. All right, girls D final, NYA and Penobscot Valley. Panthers going for the perfect season. Early going, Sarah Moore's corner is headed home by Angel Huntsman. 1-0 Panthers. 
It's like deja vu. Minutes later, another more corner and another header from Huntsman. Two to nothing, NYA on top. Huntsman was just unstoppable. The give and go with Michaela Wallace leads to her third goal in the first 20 minutes of the half, three to nothing. And then Annabella working the line feeds Huntsman for another goal, eight to nothing, NYA over Penobscot Valley. NYA four peats and their 11th state championship for the school. Hey, let's go to field hockey. Battle of unbeatens in the Class A championship, defending champ Chevers and Skowhegan, which is playing in its 21st straight title game. Late in the first quarter, Laney LeBlanc, the cross to Layla Conway, Skowhegan goes up 1-0. Mid-second quarter, Lucy Johnson with the goal for Chevers and the Stags tie it at 1. 37 seconds later, it's Johnson with the hard shot from the right side. She's unstoppable. Chevers goes up 2-1. Back and forth we go. Early in the fourth, Skowhegan a penalty corner. Conway with her second goal of the game ties it up at 2. And just 37 seconds later, it's Conway for the lead. It's the golden goal. Skowhegan wins it 3-2, ending Chevers' lengthy winning streak. Riverhawks have won 17 of the last 21 state titles. Class B field hockey final had Freeport taking on unbeaten Lawrence. The Bulldogs controlled play throughout the game, but Freeport goalie Piper Williams gave the Falcons a chance with some amazing saves. She was a rock star in the goal. Late in the first half, Taylor LeClerc, the long pass into the box. Madeline Niles then scores on the backhand, and Lawrence goes up 1-0. Freeport had a penalty corner to tie it with no time left. They go, they go, they cannot convert, and Lawrence wins the Class B Girls State Championship. Bulldogs complete a perfect season. All right, the Class C State Championship in field hockey had defending state champ Winthrop trying to beat MCI for a second straight year. Scoreless until early in the third quarter when Ella Bernier breaks in and gives MCI the lead. Winthrop answers later in the quarter. Bella Littler, the shot from the top of the circle, that makes it a 1-1 game. It stayed that way until overtime. So many great overtime games in this postseason. Madeline Wagner is the hero, and this time she scores for the Ramblers as they win the state championship 2-1. They repeat as champs, and what a feeling it was for the Ramblers. I got the pass, it was a beautiful pass from Izzy Folsom and they've been working with me all year to not force it in the post so I tried to spin around and it just happened to go in. 